I have your hearing aid for you. I love the color that you picked. It doesn't matter what degree of hearing somebody has, it impacts what information is fed to the brain. So we know that early intervention is the best way to get them started. Our goal in children is to identify hearing loss before three months of age. In fact, we're undertaking new strategy to try and do that by two months of age now. Infants are diagnosed with a test called an ABR. It's an automatic test that tells us how the brain is responding to sound. So infants can't participate and let us know that they're hearing. We get a nice response right there when the brain responds to the sound. Interventions, well, I think we can make three categories of them. One is devices, hearing aids, which would be the most common device, implantable devices, which are fairly new but are wonderfully magical devices in terms of the benefits that they provide for children. A second type of intervention would be some sort of a therapeutic intervention that involves things such as learning to listen better when you have hearing loss, hearing sounds that you've not heard before, uh, learning to use that to program your brain to speak correctly. The third type would be providing a, a firm educational and support foundation for the parents. Are you ready? Teddy, look, 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 yay! We use behavioral-based audiometry. It's a principle of hearing a sound, watching their reactions, and then giving them a reinforcement. It seems like it's a guessing game at, at how we come to determine whether their child has a hearing loss or not, but there is so much more art and science that are mixed together. All children should respond to sound at a certain range, at a certain level, should have the same type of behaviors and reactions to sound. We had to point out like when the microwave would go off or the doorbell, things people with normal hearing take for granted. So you have to point it out and kind of train her to respond. So when you hear the sound, put it on top. We okay, have so. a large number of audiologists, but we also have a very large caseload of children. It's the biggest audiology department in the country, and that's special because we get to work with a wonderful group of audiologists who are passionate about what they do. All the speech therapists that we've had, all the audiologists that we've had have, have worked with Teddy and Nora so well. They've really taken good care of them. So, you know, I can't say enough good things about all the audiologists here. Can you find the airplane? Yay! It's incredible to see children hearing things for the first time, to just see even that little baby and just the smile and their eyes light up. Children with hearing loss are at a disadvantage in the classroom. They're at a disadvantage in building social relationships. They can be at a disadvantage in the workplace. And we can negate all of those factors. Not to see the disability, but to see the possibilities and to make sure that they have gone for everything that they wanted in life. Thank you.